welcome back to New Book Tuesday. This, I'm Susan, this is Melissa. We are the Technical Services Department here at the library and uh, we're gonna show you some new fiction and nonfiction and some of our new audiobooks that have come in over the last little bit. We'll start with the fiction, uh, mystery, the vanishing type, a, a secret, a book in a scone, society novel, Ellery Adams. Bookstore owner Nora Pennington and the rest of the secret book in scone society must solve a murder as cold as the winter wind in this new mystery, The Vanishing Type. Seven Steeples, a novel by Sarah Baum. A stunning novel about a couple that moves with their dogs to the Irish countryside, immersing themselves in nature and attempting to disappear from society. Seven Steeples. I'll Be You, a novel by Janelle Brown. Two identical twin sisters and forever child actors have grown apart until one disappears and the other is forced to confront the secrets they've kept from each other in this twisty suspense novel. I'll be you, Janelle Brown. New Davis Bunn, The Emerald Tide. Breathtaking new novel about letting go, taking chances, and embracing the healing power of love. Just when he thought he'd buried his past and was moving on, he discovered the art of falling in love again. The Emerald Tide. Take My Hand, Dolan Perkins Valdez. A searing and compassionate new novel about a young black nurse's shocking discovery and burning quest for justice in the post-segregation Alabama. Take My Hand. An Unlasting Home, My al Nakib. The debut novel from award-winning short story writer, originally imagined saga spanning Lebanon, Iraq, India and the United States, and Kuwait that brings to life the triumphs and failures of three generations of Arab women. An unlasting home. We have Janet Daly, part of the new Americana series, Hope Creek. Old, rivalry, old rivalries, new ventures, and long lost loves converge in this latest novel. In uh, Janet Daly's new Americana series is the daughter who once walked away from the dark chaos of her childhood returns to her low country hometown hoping to put the past to rest. Hope Creek. The new western, The End of Nowhere, Patrick Deeren. It's 1917 and the Mexican Revolution has the big bend of Texas aflame, but the firestorm is no greater than the one inside newspaper reporter Jack Landon. The End of Nowhere. Bitter Roots by Ellen Crosby, a wine country mystery. In just over a week, vineyard owner Lucy Montgomery and winemaker Quinn Centauri will be married in the ceremony overlooking what should be acres of lush flowering grapevines. Instead, they are confronted by an ugly swath of slowly dying vines and a nursery owner who denies responsibility for selling the diseased plants. Bitter Roots. The Odyssey, a novel by Lara Williams. Ingrid works on a gargantuan luxury cruise liner where she spends her days re reorganizing the gift shop shelves and waiting for the long-term guests to drop dead in the aisles. In her, on her days off, she disembarks from the ship, wasting the hours aimlessly following tourists around, drinking the local alcohol, and buying clothes she never intends to wear. It's not a bad life. The Odyssey. Next one, Children of the Hill by Jennifer McMahon. From the New York Times bestselling author of The Drowning Kind comes a genre-defying new novel inspired by Mar Mary Shelley's masterpiece Frankenstein that brilliantly explores the eerie mysteries of, ch of childhood and the evils perpetuated by the monsters among us. Ooh, children on the Hill. Class one of the fiction, uh, Country Born by Lil Linda Lale Miller. This is number three in a uh, series. Rancher and military veteran J.P. McCall loves simple pleasures, the satisfaction of working his family's land, the freedom to come and go as he pleases. But ever since his two closest friends have married and started families of their own, J.P. realizes what he's been missing. Country born. Okay, so in the nonfiction to start out with, we've got Fairhope, 1894 to 1954, the story of a single tax colony. That's from Paul E. Alyea and Blanche R. Alyea. This is um, an older book, but it's actually being reissued with an introduction that's new. And that introduction's from Tennant McWilliams. Then we've got Rewrite Your Life 
Discover Your Truth Through the Healing Power of Fiction from Jessica Laurie. This book that looks really interesting. Um, it's called The Official United States Civil Rights Trail. What Happened Here Changed the World from Lee Sintel. Um, it's just got a lot of like really cool old pictures and it goes um, sort of through the timeline to different locations um, throughout the civil rights history of the 50s and 60s through till today. Then we've got this one called Putin's World, Russia Against the West and With the Rest. That's from Angela Stent. Very timely book. All right. And we've got Chosen, A Memoir of Stolen Boyhood from Stephen Mills. This one's called The Last Days of the Dinosaurs, An Asteroid Extinction and the Beginning of Our World. It's from Riley Black. Look at those foodies out there. Um, from America's Test Kitchen, this book's called Boards, Stylish Spreads for Casual Gatherings, Food Styling and Expert Advice by L. Simone Scott. Right. This book um, is called The Man Who Invented Motion Pictures, A True Tale of Obsession, Murder, and the Movies. That's by Paul Fisher. Right. And the rest of these are um, books that we've gotten thanks to our LSTA grant. This one, um, The Many Faces of Art Forgery, From the Dark Side to Shades of Grey from William Casement. Got this one called The Little, Little Flower Recipe Book, 148 Tiny Arrangements for Every Season and Occasion. That's from Jill Rizzo. This book's called Artisan Air Dry Clay, The Beginner's Guide to Easy, Inexpensive, and Stylish No-Kiln Pottery. We've got um, this of Mules and Mud, The Story of Alabama Folk Pottery, or Folk Potter, Jerry Brown. Yeah, he's famous for those ones with the faces on Okay, so for some local art history. Got this one for technology, um, iPad for seniors, for dummies. Another one in that popular series. And then to finish off, we've got two graphic novels. This one is a graphic novel version of Brave New World, the book by Aldous Huxley. And then we've also got Romeo and Juliet, and that's from the No Fear Shakespeare group. Um, this is their graphic novel version. Now we've got some um, audiobooks to show you today too. Uh, some of them we already, of course, have the book uh, version. Jane Green, Sister Stardust. This one's from Roy Johansson, Killer View. Uh, Lisa Scottolini, What Happened to the Bennets? This is supposed to be an awesome recording. This had some really good reviews. Um, another popular author, Stuart Woods, in his book, safe, A Safe House. Golden Couple, Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekinen. Another novel. The Christie Affair. That's from Nita de Gramont. The uh, new Greg Hurwitz, uh, an Orphan X novel, Dark Horse. This one, Sea of Tranquility, it's a novel from Emily St. John Mandel. Socktail Gonzalez, Olga Dies Dreaming. Ooh. Circus of Wonders by Elizabeth McNeil. These Precious Days, a new Anne Patchett. It's uh, essays by Anne Patchett. And then the ever popular James Patterson with Howard Rowan Steele. Thanks for joining us today and uh, please stay tuned for next week's uh, episode. And if you'd like to borrow any of these, come by the library or check out our website to put it on hold. Thank you. Bye.